quote. So, yesterday I was supposed to go to a zombie walk. I got all dressed up for the zombie walk. My friends were supposed to meet me outside the ferry. They didn't meet me. I had to walk home as a fucking zombie and have everyone give me dirty looks. Look at me. Okay. I go I go home. The Facebook status all say they're going. I'm like, what the hell did they go? And they didn't meet me. I send the messages. Nobody answers me. I'm like, did you take a later ferry? Did you fucking walk? Did you take a car on? Did you, like, anything? Just tell me, like, I'm not going to get on a ferry if I don't know people are on it. I'm not going to go all the way to Vancouver dressed as a fucking zombie and not know what. I didn't even know where this fucking zombie walk was. I was relying on them to fucking help me get there. And then, like, I had no fucking way of getting there. I didn't know where it was. I couldn't find it. I would have been totally lost. And then today I go on Facebook, I see pictures of them, they went to the fucking zombie walk, they're all dressed up, like fucking, like gore, everything, like fucking, like, and it hurts that, it hurt my fucking feelings, like, I miss my kids so bad, and like, I need stuff to keep my mind busy, or I have a fucking breakdown, I have so much fucking stress, it's caused so much stress, this is supposed to be something fun for me to do. And it was with this, like, this gothic girl that I like. I kissed her at the bar. I fucking went to her house, watched movies, was, like, holding hands with her. Fucking so kissed her again, and then we were supposed to go to the zombie walk, and then for some reason they didn't meet me at the ferry. Not even a message saying, I'm sorry. Nothing. Like, what the fuck? It makes me feel like a piece of shit. Like, I feel like... Like, I just want to, like, fucking commit suicide. I just... I need some fucking real people in my fucking life. You don't stand someone up dressed as a fucking zombie. You don't fucking tell someone to come to some fucking zombie walk. And then don't fucking, like, come there. See, they're all fucking putting up photos of themselves at the fucking zombie walk. Not fucking cool, man. It's like so not fucking cool. People let me down and hurt my feelings all the fucking time. And they can't even just say they're fucking sorry. You can't even give me a fucking like I would fucking say I'm sorry, man, if I didn't meet someone. That is so mean. That is so fucking mean. I had to walk all the way home. Every fucking person looking at me like I'm a total fucking freak. Think it's bad just walking around as a transsexual. I had to walk around as a transsexual fucking zombie. Oh, yeah, that's not fucking embarrassment. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know what it is about me. I have the bad as fuck. And shit doesn't go right. My life was going so good, and then people took my fucking kids away. People broke up with me. Ever since then, my life has gone in the fucking toilet. <sighs> it's going with like, why is your house so fucking dirty? Why do you party all the time? You know why my fucking house is dirty? Why I party? Because I'm drowning in depression, and if I didn't fucking do something to keep my mind on it, I would have to commit suicide. I'm just trying to keep myself alive. I'm trying to deal with all the bad shit that everyone has fucking done to me. Not easy. I have no one, and I don't fucking I barely have any friends. But. I don't even know anymore. I don't know why I ain't fucking. I have to go to legal aid. I have to. I did that. I fucking had to go to court for makeup stealing thing. 
I have to come back on the this, this September 4th and I have to plead guilty. And then I'll get 18 months of probation for a $5 fucking thing of makeup. Fuck. No, of course you can't just throw it out. It's a fucking, like, waste of everyone's time. Gotta fucking, gotta charge someone for a $2 fucking thing. $5 fucking thing. Who fucking cares? I don't even care about probation. Whatever, I'll do this stupid probation. I just want to see my children. My ex won't even let me meet them in a public place. Nothing. I can't get anything. No matter what I do, no matter what I say, I can't fucking get to see my fucking kids. Nobody knows what this pain is like. Nobody understands. It kills you inside. It fucking you feel like you're nothing. I missed years of my kid. I missed like a year of my kid's childhood, and I'm not fucking going through that again because of the courts taking their time giving me a decision. I get visits, and then fucking she takes them away again. I can't even get the visits forced by the police because I don't have a court order saying that I can get fucking police intervention. So I have to go back to court, ask for police help, she doesn't give me my visit. Because they can't even enforce the orders that they make. What's the fucking point of going to fucking court if they can just break the orders and not even fucking live up to it? And there's no trouble. I don't even know. I had my other friend Marie. We started. We got in a fight. It's like fuck. Just like high drama. I can't have people high drama around me. I have stress related issues. You start weirding me out. Fucking getting on my case. Being a fucking downer twenty four seven. I'm gonna get fucking pissed off because I don't need that negativity around me setting me off and my fucking mental issues. So it pisses me off. Like everyone's just on my fucking cave. I don't even know. I just wish I was. I don't even know why I keep going. I keep going because I want to see my children. That's the only thing that keeps me alive. I can't give up because I have two kids, but if I never had them, I would have came in and suicide a long time ago. I've never enjoyed life. I've never been happy with it. I've had like small moments, meeting moments of happiness, they don't last. I've had one of the worst lives that you could ever imagine. I've been fucking molested, I've been child abused, I've been fucking raised by an alcoholic mom, I've been raised in poverty, I've been raised poor, I've been cheated on, I've been screwed around, I've been kicked out of my home for no reason, I've had so many bad things, I've been homeless, I've had children and they had to take it, I've had to go to court, and then finally get visitation to see them, and they just stop taking it, and I can't even do anything about it without going back to court and spending more years of my life, missing out on more years of my kid's life. Take like two years just to get to court. Last time I got to court, the judge said, oh, I have prior travel arrangements, and made me wait a year before I even heard back from them. I missed a year of my kid's life. Oh, yeah. I can't go through this shit all the time. And I've stayed strong. I've, I've kept kept going. I've kept going. I've kept going. But how long can you keep going? How long can you just keep going through all the breakdowns? How long? How long can it last? No 
kill you fucking gift and you say it's enough is enough, I've had too much fucking pain, I've had too much fucking sorrow, I've had too much fucking kill. <laughs> I'm so hurt, like, how could someone let you get dressed up as a fucking zombie and then not fucking beat you, like, and then they all went, and they're all putting up pictures on Facebook. Like, every fucking one of the people who are supposed to meet me all have fucking pictures up. Like, it's like rubbing it in my fucking face. Like, shit. This hurts so bad. Like, I thought this girl liked me. Like, it was the first chick that I've gotten since my breakup that I've actually, like, kissed a girl. And, like, I felt so good. Like, it gave me hope that maybe something could happen in my life. I just want someone to love me. I just want a girlfriend. And I can't find one. <laughs> I need love in my life. I need. <laughs> I need something positive to keep me together. I have no money but this fucking webcam. <laughs> That's it. That's my fucking life. I don't have anyone to talk to about my fucking problems. And no one will even care about this video. And no one will probably fucking comment because they fucking barely ever fucking do. But if I have some video of me shaking my ass and half naked, then that'll get like, oh, like a couple thousand hits. But if I have a life, fucking video where I'm talking about my life and how much my problems and what goes on in my world, fucking maybe like maybe 200 hits. But whatever, I'm not in this for popularity. I make this for me and to get my fucking feelings out. And people think I'm too negative, but I make them think I'm too negative. But I am. I am alone. I. And it really hurts. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now, but...